He expects tonight's fight against the Jet to be a very short night for him. Let's listen. I'm feeling very good, very strong. So anyone that uh, thinks that my, my kicking, my low kicks in particular, won't be there, they better watch very carefully tonight. Because I do have a habit when I get involved in big fights, don't leave your seat and don't go and get a drink while I'm re getting ready to fight. And I'll tell you, Longinitas, he wants to make very short work of this uh, Rick Rufus tonight. Interesting, uh, they're going to be fighting a little bit different rules. They're going to be fighting international rules. And uh, that was a subject of uh, a sit-down interview yesterday uh, with Rick Rufus. He talked about these rules. Well, the sport since 94 has made a transition. The sport above the belt is kind of uh, surpassed and gone away. And the sport uh, transcended into uh, tie boxing. And what you'll see in that is uh, we won't be wearing shin guards or foot guards. And you'll be allowed to kick uh, to the legs. And, uh, you know, it, it, it's uh, definitely different from the uh, kickboxing. And uh, it's probably much more exciting. Same. Now, Rick, the jet roof is there. The rules they'll be fighting under. Shorts are mandatory. No strikes to the groin or to the joints of the leg. Got to stay away from the knees and ankles. Foot pads or shin pads, not required, but may be used. I don't think I've ever seen Stan Longinius with any kind of pads. That's right. He's, he's used to fighting th this type of fight. Uh, he fights in Japan, fights in Australia. He really doesn't use a lot of shin protection or foot protection. He is used to this. Rick Rufus has been doing it for the last couple of years, maybe a year and a half. It's relatively new for him, but I spoke with some of his trainers, and they told me that he worked on the, the lower part or lower body attack, and he is a well-rounded fighter now. Now you're looking at Stan Longinitas. He just goes to the leg time and time again. Look at that. Look at that, right to the thigh of his opponent, and down he goes. And that really is the calling card of Stan Longini. He doesn't give out business cards. He just kicks you in the thigh and says hello. And it stays there for a while. It <laughs> completely destroys the motor skill. You cannot stand up. And... Now again, this great crowd anxiously anticipating the arrival of our next bout. And it should be a good one. Stan the Man Longinitas and Rick the Jet Rufus. For the IKF Heavyweight International Rules title. And I'll tell you one thing. Every time I have seen Stan Longinitas fight, he has always been very, very respectful of his opponent. And tonight, he thinks Rufus may be in a little bit over his head. Rick is, um, you know, he wants to become a big fish, you know what I'm saying, in, in the sea right now. And he's chosen the great white, you know what I'm saying? As far as I'm concerned. So, like I said, it's going to be a great fight. You've got to show respect for Rick. Um, just uh, hang tight and hold on to your seat because uh, we're going to be heavyweights that you've seen, that you haven't seen for a long time, take off, you know. And uh, they don't call him the jet for nothing. He better make sure that he's fully loaded with his weapons. <laughs> There's a tail of the tape. Longer, he stands 5'10". He'll give an inch away to Rufus. Their weights negligible difference you look at the records just about identical numbers of professional fights and the KOs again just about dead even if there's one difference of this fight between Longinitas and Rufus tonight and your estimation Johnny where might it be I think the fact that the uh, Longinitas is used to doing international rules he's fought in Japan like I said earlier he's fought some very good fighters in there he's used to taking he's used to stepping out of the way the kicks rick Ru rufus on the other hand is relatively new to it but he adapts very well he's a well well trained fighter he's a very very talented fighter uh, i suspect that this fight could go any way earlier on now they're scheduled to go 12 on this capacity crowd here at songus arena in lowell massachusetts can't wait watched uh, many of them file in tonight walked around, just listened to people. There were as many people talking about the Rufus Longinitas fight as there are anticipating the Wilson Kimber matchup. Certainly, uh, Dick Kimber's a, a uh, local favorite. Uh, Don Wilson's been away for, the, for a while, but he was a headliner a long time ago, and he's still able to draw some people. He left a great legacy behind, and I think he wants to pick up where he left off. There is Stan the Man Longinitas as he awaits the taping of Rick Rufus. We've just been informed. Rufus, uh, as you saw a few moments ago, was having his hands taped. The uh, athletic commissioner came in and said, the taping's wrong. You've gone against our state rules. You've got to re-tape. Re, uh, so Rufus is going through a re-tape right now. Well, certainly, uh, there needs to be some respect uh, towards the rules. 
sometimes fighters would put a little bit more on the uh, on the knuckles obviously uh, that is the part that's going to be striking we try not to protect them as much put a lot on the top of the hand the metacarpals and around the thumb and the uh, the uh, wrist as well I know that in the Montreal Athletic Commission they don't like to have fighters put a lot of tape on the striking part of the knuckle what are you allowed six feet six feet of tape is that what the rule is in most states we, we are allowed uh, ten yards of gauze and yards. six or eight feet of tape right uh, now of course uh, some of the fighters are able to get by that uh, quite adequately I, I'm sure well, you're watching guys like Stan Lajanitas and Rick Rupus into their 30s and fighting so very very well Don the dragon coming out of retirement after seven years of making movies in Hollywood. Uh, Johnny, you've been out of boxing, uh, kickboxing for the last four or five years. Uh, any thoughts of maybe perhaps coming back? Uh, no, not really. I, I went until I was 41 years old. I was quite satisfied with my career. I noticed that there were some, some uh, differences uh, that were setting in. I was a little bit slower in recuperating from hard workouts in the morning. And my uh, injuries would heal a little slower. Uh, my reflexes were a little slower as well. Now, of course, uh, to people who are watching, they may not have thought so, but in my mind, uh, I certainly knew so. Therefore, uh, having uh, having a, a, an interest and in having a, a, a career after uh, fighting, I decided that it was time for me to stop. And tell the world what you are doing now in Ottawa. Right now, I'm doing some... Uh, consulting some uh, fitness consulting I'm enjoying it I love teaching I love uh, the interaction with a lot of people and uh, I'm having a lot of a uh, lot of good times training kickboxers absolutely there's a great number of kickboxers a lot of women out there uh, the fitness world is taking uh, has taken off in the kickboxing area as well and uh, uh, we have a lot of new people interested in kickboxing. And hopefully this is going to draw some people into the arenas as well. You bet. Let's go to the center of the ring and Mark Helms. From Box Hill, Victoria, Australia, please welcome in the red corner, Stan the Man Lajanitas. <laughs> from Victoria, Australia. Stan the man, Lanjanita. Boy, he has come a long way in search of another world title. And if you were a betting man right now, there's the koala leading him in. Who do you give the edge to? I think fight? I'd cover my bets. I'd go a couple of dollars on Lanjanita, a couple of dollars on Rufus. These are guys with bad intentions tonight. They are very hungry for victory. The heavyweight championship of the world is at stake, and they are going to go for it. Now Stan the Man is ready. He is coming in. He's come a long way for this fight. He is set to go. Just gave us a wink over here in the corner. So good to see Stan back here in the United States. Ventura, California, please welcome in the blue corner, Rick the Jet. Rufus! Escobar Cena has his turn. Rick the Jet Rufus is on his way to face that man, Stan Lanjanita. Ventura, California is where Rufus calls home. This is what makes me. Exciting fighting, very exciting fighter. He's been training in this, the low kicks for the last year and a half. I'm really, really very excited about this. I mean, I always enjoyed looking at Rick Rufus, Rufus while he was a middleweight, through his light heavyweight tenure. Now as a heavyweight, and he's still capable of generating a lot of excitement here. He is a super heavyweight international rules world champion. Lon Jenny just wants to take another belt back down under. Well, I'd say that is a different look for Stan Longinitas than I'm used to seeing. He used to have the thickest, heaviest set of black hair, and it's all gone. Maybe it's going to help him to slip the punches. And that may be it. Trying to become a little quicker. Longinitas' corner getting their fighter ready. Likewise, Rick Rupus out of Ventura, California. Just about an hour west of Los Angeles, up past Malibu. 
He is trim. He's very lean. I was speaking Man. with the, with his trainer, and he told me that he's got about Riggs got about 5.3 percent body fat on him. He is that much. Lean. <laughs> <laughs> This is a fight that the kickboxing world has long awaited. And there's no love lost between these two guys. A couple of old warriors. These guys are going get to get it on, show it how it's done. Bonjanitas at times uh, has been a bit of a slow starter. He tends to come on and come on hard. I think he'll uh, be able to ill afford that against the Jet tonight. Rick is quick out of the gate. He can snap a counter punch very, very, very fast. If Longinitis lunges in uh, without respect, he may run into something. As you saw there, he was quick, missed the target. Neither of these fighters wearing uh, pads on their ankles. They have them taped. the word jet across the front of uh, Rick Rufus's uh, trunks. Well, I'll tell you, as far as I'm concerned, there was only one jet. And you know who I'm talking about. He's the one. Benny the Jet Yukitas. Absolutely. That was a pleasure watching him fight. Oh, my. It's not the first time, though, a fighter is taking someone else's nickname. I remember a fellow by the name of Sugar Ray recently took the nickname of another great legend, Sugar Ray Robbins. There's a few of those going on. Yeah, there are. Fighters are kind of cautious. Nobody throwing anything uh, indiscriminately. They're they're picking their shots. They're trying to catch the, the other guy off guard. That's a great rear leg roundhouse, roundhouse kick to the thigh. Well, should get a good look at that right leg follow with a left hook. Ooh. Oh, and he caught the roof inside that rear leg. Still, he got a welt on his leg already. Nice red mark. Final 10 seconds of this opening round. These super heavies are scheduled to go 12. There's some respect there as well. Now let's take you into the corner now of Longinita. Let's listen. Come back to the legs, right? Give yourself with the legs. Give yourself with the legs every time. Hey, the bang, the bang hook three, spot on. One, two, one, very simple. All right, give me that best, man. Hey, he's worried about going 12 rounds, right? That's good pace. He's worried about going 12 rounds. Go ahead, man. All right. Well, that's good pace. Now you hear his corner telling uh, Longinitas, start with the hands and go to the legs. I think what he's telling his fighters, use your fist and then use your legs. I think that's a key to his attack, to go to Rick Roof with his legs. He is used to. Uh, Longinitas is used to going down with those kicks. That's what he needs to go with. Danny Stell is the uh, referee for this uh, world title bout. And here we go, the uh, second round. Well, the first round, uh, as jean Eve said, was really a feeling out round for both Longinitas and Rufus. Not uncommon, however, to see uh, Longinitas take a few rounds to kind of get rocking and rolling. I remember a fight several years ago in Australia against Maurice Smith, and Maurice had Longinitas in serious trouble early. And uh, Longinitas came on in the second half of that fight and uh, took Smith out. He is an explosive fighter. Very explosive fighters. I think that both of them are explosive fighters. That this can turn around on a dime. Ruth is trying a uh, axe kick, and it didn't work. Longinitas just kick. took him and dropped him. He is sharp. Longinitas is sharp. He closed in the gap and 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 completely neutralized the uh, Rick Rufus's attack. Both fighters exchanging left leg. Boy, Longinitas goes to the inside of the calf of Rufus. You saw Rufus wince. You can see that his thighs are red on the oh, inside of man. his right leg and the outside of his left leg. Into the final 
35 seconds of this second round. Boy, Rufus is uh, left five. Already swollen in right red. Snuck in a couple of nice punches Rufus did. I think against Lanzanini, I quite frankly wouldn't know how to fight him. If you get inside, you've got to contend with his incredible power from his fist. You try and stay outside, you can pick your part with his leg. Absolutely, and that's the key to a good fighter, is being able to throw punches from the inside and keep the opponent away with the kicks on the outside. Do some work, especially down in the legs in this particular fight with international rule. You see that Rick Rufus has taken some kicks to the legs. His, his legs are red on the inside of his right leg, on the, inside of, on the outside of his left as well. Now here's the axe kick. He tried to get it up and drop it on Longinitas' head. Longinitas moved in, took the kick on the shoulder, and then just flipped him to the turf. Completely neutralized yeah. his attack. Longinitas, there's the left, followed by uh, Rufus's left. Now, Rufus appears to me, to jean needs to be a little off balance early on in this fight. I think those leg kicks are, are uh, probably going to be an issue here. It seems to me that if Rick Rufus goes to the head with the kicks, uh, he may be setting himself up for a counter kick. Particularly a leg sweep. Absolutely, but we never know Rick Rufus. He's very versatile. He can go down, he can go up with those kicks. We never know. On the other hand, Longinitis seems to be on his, on his game plan tonight. He's very sharp, very, very, very fast out of the gate. He will con counter uh, Rick Rufus's attacks. Two down, ten up. The battle for the IKF Super Heavyweight International Rules World Championship. Rufus trying to use that side kick and a ball kick as a jab here early in the third round. Oh, look at that. It'll be no knockdown. Rufus came in with the right leg and uh, Longini has caught it and swept his back leg out from under him. What both these fighters, thunderous, thunderous upper bodies. Very powerful guys. Longinitas is not going to back away from uh, Rick Rufus. He, hold, he holds in, takes a kick to give a couple of punches. Rufus, he owns the super heavyweight international rules world title. Longinitas wants to take it back across the pond. Good straight right hand by Longinitas. Good left leg by Rufus. He's covering a lot of distance with those roundhouse kicks. Canvas seems to be a little bit slippery. And we saw that Rick attempted a spinning back fist and completely missed. Longinitis ducking nicely underneath. Final 10 seconds of this third round. Now the pacing of this fight through three has been a oh, nice couple of punches. Both good exchange in the last 10 seconds of the fight. It's heating up. And I'll tell you, the pacing of this fight thus far, uh, John Ames, I think his favorite Stan Longinitas because it has been a pace that he's accustomed to. Absolutely. Rick Rufus is, uh, it seems to me now, what I remember of him, a little bit off his game, usually he throws a lot of stuff, and he just seems to be waiting a lot here. Rufus coming at Longinitas with everything he had in the final 10 seconds of this uh, third round, and that is where the bell sounded. Boy, what a finish, the final 10 seconds of round three. Nice hook. I think that the... Uh, on the, on the strength of that last exchange, maybe uh, Longinitis may have taken this round. Through three, John Eves, how do you have it scored unofficially? Oh, man, I don't want to pronounce myself. This is too tight. <laughs> working perfectly, Rick. Working. Now, here's where Rick Rupus went down in that third round. Tried to lift the leg high up onto the head of uh, Longinitis, and he just swept his back leg out from under him. No knockdown. Oh, 
Three in the books, nine remain. Rick Rufus from Ventura, California, taking on Victoria, Australia's favorite son, Stan Longinitas. Well, Rufus delivered that kick right to the inside of the thigh of Longinitas. You saw him grimace a bit. I thought that might have got him in the groin. Apparently not. He was, he was quick, to, quick to respond with those punches. He seems to be waiting for uh, Rick Rufus to commit himself to the low kicks and fire back with some punches. Rick Rufus does come in from a little bit far with those, with those low kicks. You know, so the first round and a half, Rufus appeared to me to be somewhat tentative. Not so here in round four. I think he may be, he may be getting into his groove. Yeah, I think you're right. If Longinitas has an Achilles heel, the only one I've seen in 11 years of watching him fight is that he will tend to cut. We can see some scar tissue around his left eye. Yes, we do. And that seems to have been a, a, a problem in the past as well. The guys are taking their turns here, and there's not one that's imposing himself on the other. A slip, no knockdown. Danny Stell will wipe the gloves off. will go to the head with those kicks. He can hit hard with the kicks high. Then he try, try to throw Longinitas off with some high kicks and then come back down with the leg kicks. Rufus tries to spin him back face and almost got caught on the back by Longinitas. There he took a left hand to the chin. And that's the end of round four. Again, a feeling out round for Longinitas. And I cannot tell you, this uh, pace of this fight is falling squarely into the corner of that man. Very reactive fighters. They react to pretty well everything that happens. Either they get out of the way real quick or they explode into a counter punch or a counter kick. These guys have, uh, seems to have a plan. Uh, Longinitis is keeping his attack up and he's swinging with some combinations to the head with punches. Rick Rufus seems to be wanting to move around a little bit and, and keep uh, Longinitis at bay. Sometimes when you come to you, back tip on the face. When you come to you, back tip on the face. You sometimes you tip on the side and turn, okay? Turn, take time. Two points. Second out. Second out. Go ahead. And we're set for round five, and I look for Longinitas to really begin to step up the pace here. Somebody needs to take uh, control of the fight here and impose him his will. You see Rupert's trying to get that ball kick up into an axe kick, and it just isn't working. I don't think he has enough height on Longinitas to realistically land an axe kick. Longinitis has a pretty good defense, yes, though his hands are high, and he can go he can go under those axe kicks and, and throw uh, Rick Rufus off his game with that, as we saw earlier in the in the third round. I don't think there's a. Oh, what a left leg by Rufus lands on the head of Longinitas. He can hit hard. He can hit hard, high with the kicks to the head. Longinitas is a little bit in queer, on Queer Street here. You can bet that the Rufus is going to come out hard. He'll try and tie Rufus up. Rufus on the assault once more. Stan in trouble here in round five. No knockdown. A slip says Danny Stell. I don't think that he's got his legs back yet. He does not. Longinitis in trouble, tries to unload a right hand, follows it with a left. I have seen Longinitis in this situation before, and he has weathered the storm. Can't count him out. No, you can't, but Rick Rupas, oh, what a big kick here in round five. And he's been in this situation before, and he can close in real fast. 
Root was trying to go to the inside of Longinitas' leg. Looks for the uppercut. Can't find it. Inside of the thigh of Rufus. And I think Longinitas caught a thumb in the eye. He's got a thumb in the right eye. And that's that the end of this fifth round. And uh, Longini is looking to see if he's cut. He is not cut. But, oh, did he take a thumb in the eye. That was a great round for Rick Rufus. Nice high roundhouse kick. And he just managed to keep managed to keep Longinitis at bay. Here we can see it again, setting him up. There it is, high up wow. on top of the temple. There goes uh, Longinitis. Nothing cheap about that kick. No, sir. Rick Rufus can deliver the material. Right over top. Even though the Longinitis had his hand high, he went right over top, caught him on the temple. Stan never saw it coming. Bang, right there. And I'll tell you, it is a credit to Longinitas that he even weathered that fifth round because that came with about a minute and 15 seconds left. Rick Rufus unable to finish him off. But boy, what a big round. That'll boost uh, Rick Rufus' confidence. I don't know how R Longinitis is going to manage to get back into the fight. He's going to have to do some work here. Danny Stell, the referee, says let's clean out the, the ice out of the corner. Now we're ready to go. Rufus and Longinitas doing battle here for the heavyweight international rules championship of the world. This is round six. There you go. We can see both fighters' legs are, are swelling up. A lot of bruising in, inside Longinitis' left leg. Wait, look at the back of uh, Rufus. Looks like he's been whipped. Longinitis just missed with a left hand off the head of Rufus. Big kick by Rufus. I think he was stunned by that by that hook. Rick Rufus is finding his mark. He's confident. He's picking his shots. Longinitis' legs are a little bit weak here, and I think he's going to be uh, suffering for the rest of this fight. Rick Rufus is a strong fighter, well adapted to this type of fighting. Both these fighters, tremendous kickers. And Rufus getting the best of it right now. Boy, Longinitas' thighs would look like hamburger right now. He's having trouble standing with this, with this uh, uh, repeated leg attack of Rufus. Surprised that neither fighter is using the ball kick as a jab, John Eves. Spinning back this does no damage. These, these, these seem to be more comfortable with going to the leg with roundhouse kicks. Rufus down, no knockdown, it was a slip. Longinitas is corner telling Stan, stay low, go low. Slow Rufus's legs down. The only way to do that is to uh, deliver blow after blow to those legs. That's easier said than done. Absolutely. He needs to repeat the attack. Longinitis has to repeat the attack on Rick Rufus's legs. Slow his game down. Down. Rick Rufus is able to move around. He's quite comfortable in moving. Now here's Rufus. Watch him go to the legs of Longinitas again here in round six. There's the inner thigh, that left leg. Uh, I don't know if you at home can see it, but it is bright red. It looks like somebody's just taken some raw hamburger and glued it on the inside of Stan's left leg. It has to be painful. You can see from here there's some tremendous bruising on the legs. These guys are warriors. Yeah, you get a good look at the uh, leg of Longinitas right there. And I'll tell you, those pictures, uh, as good as they are, don't even uh, begin to show how bright pink and red the inside of that left leg is. Longinitas, you see him grimace as he stood up here to come out for round seven. Now you understand why I retired from you. <laughs> <laughs> now it makes sense. Now it makes sense. Round seven. Again, Rufus gets off first with that uh, back leg kick. He's been going to the inside of the leg. Uh, he can use that as a fake and throw uh, Longinitas off guard. He tries to 
spinning back kick. Rick is a showboat. He'll yes, do anything he, he can. And he can do pretty well everything. It took seven rounds for Rufus to try that uh, back leg as a, as a ball kick. Spinning back fist lands on the head of uh, Rufus. That's the, stuff, the type of stuff that's going to wear down Rick Rufus, those leg attacks. We need to slow him down. The axe kick again doesn't work. A third time he's tried that. Antonidas methodically waiting. Boy, Rufus, since round five, has really put it together. He started out a little slow, but I'll tell you, he's picking them apart. He's picking them apart. He's going to the body, going to the head with whatever pleases him. Final 10 seconds of this seventh round. That's a hard round to judge here. Well, don't forget when this fight includes the marquee event of the weekend here in the Boston area. Don the Dragon Wilson makes his return to the ring for the first time since he retired in 1991. As he gets set to take on local favorite, three-time world champion, Dick the Destroyer, Kimber. And oh, what a fight this is going to be. This is one that I'm looking forward to. Don Wilson has been away for a while and anticipated uh, his coming back. Well, I'll tell you, I'm going to be the first guy to, to, to really get on the bandwagon and try and get Johnny's Terrio and Don Wilson into the ring again. <laughs> But protect your face from coming down a little bit too much, okay? Uh, I'm getting used to this to this gig here. <laughs> I like this. This is a little less painful, isn't it? Absolutely. Now, both fighters look remarkably uh, poised, remarkably rested here as they come out for round eight. One knockdown. Stan, the man, Longinitas, was knocked down with a big left leg on the side of the face by Rufus in round five. That seems to be a low kick. At least Longinitas is claiming so. Heard Rufus lean over and say, I'm sorry. These are two fighters, tremendous fighters. Great gentlemen, respect one another to the hilt. That was a nice combination on... Uh, Longinitis is part. Low kick to the to the leg, came back with a couple of punches to the head. fight in uh, Australia where Lon Janitas in the first round delivered a kick low to the leg of Dennis Alexio and broke the bottom part of the legs. Alexio didn't even know it was broken until he tried to put weight on it and he just toppled over. Just collapsed. Just collapsed. That'll, that'll show the, uh, the audience how powerful a leg kick is and I'm telling you right now these guys are, are suffering. It takes a lot of energy out of your legs, a lot of energy in your, from your inner core. These guys are working from the heart. Well, wherever you are watching mass destruction across the country, around the world, Bill Stone along with Johnny Terrio, we welcome you to Lowell, Massachusetts. And we certainly hope you are enjoying this night of world championship kickboxing as much as we are bringing it to you. Again, a nice round for Rick Rufus on this one. 
Well, I said after the second round, Red Rufus, when he came out for the third round, Johnny, just seemed to have a different look in his face, as if, hey, I belong here against this guy. Certainly. I think that the, the first couple of rounds, he may have been a little bit asleep, and uh, Longinitis took a couple of shots at him, woke him up, and since the fourth, fifth round, it's Rufus' game. Now, Rufus, as he has throughout this fight, went back to the thighs of Longinitas in round eight with great success. Talking to the journalists around uh, Boston today, and they said, hey, what a gentleman this Stan Longinitas has been since he arrived here in the Boston area. Made himself available to talk to anybody and everybody. Rick Rufus, the guy that hails from Ventura, California, a no-nonsense fighter that said throughout the, this entire promotion, I've come here to win. I didn't come here to face a guy that has fought all over the world. I came here to beat Longinitas. And thus far, I think he's on track. And that is his profession. He's a professional fighter. He does it well. That leg kick hurt. Rick Rufus is coming out with a vengeance. He really wants to get this guy out. Longinitas will try and counter off the ropes. Goes to the inside of the thigh. Longinitas caught with the uppercut, but he's still standing. Nice uppercut from Rick Rufus. Again, Longinitas goes to the inside of the right thigh of Rufus. My gosh, you look at the discoloration on both of these fighters' legs. It is grotesque. It's amazing how these guys can stand, let alone fight. Very nice uppercut. Cut. Wow. Both punches, last two punches, uppercuts, and just Longinitis just ate them. The guys are spent. The guys are spent, but we can look for an explosion from either one of them now. Dan's legs are gone. I don't know how he's standing. Wolf is in a position to win this fight. Longinitas can hardly stand up. Johnny's what's keeping him on his feet? His legs are shot, man. He's, he's very courageous. He's very courageous. Of course, he knows that he, he thinks that he can win. That in his heart, in his heart, he knows that he can win this. He's going to let the Rufus throw his best stuff and surprise him. He's going to try to surprise him with something. He doesn't want to quit. Final 10 seconds. Danny Stell's going to issue a standing eight count to Longinitas in the final seconds of this ninth round. Both of these guys are hurt. I mean, the legs, they're discolored. Both, both of them are very, very, very tired. Those leg kicks are taking their toll. Longinitis, of course, had one knockdown. He suffered a knockdown. That took a lot out of him as well. And his legs are completely, completely shot, discolored. Inside his legs, outside his legs. It's, it's surprising how he can stand up. Rufus looks very fresh. That is not the case. 20 feet away. Doctor is looking in now at the corner of uh, Longinitas. They're taking a look at his right leg. Boy, there's a look at the, the leg. Wow. That's uh, Stan the Man Longinitas. Doctors are looking down around the lower leg. Uh, Longinitas may have an injury. He may have an injury. I'm not so sure. He doesn't have a broken lower leg right now. I don't know if this fight's going to go any further. Really hurting in his corner. There's just a great shot along to him. This fight is over. Inside. This is over. This fight is over. It's over with. Rick Rufus, what a huge win. A broken right ankle is the word for Longinitas. How did he fight the rest of that ninth round? It's amazing how he could stand up, and he was ready to go on. Rick Rufus broke the lower right ankle of Stan the Man Longinitas. Somehow, Longinitas continued through the rest of round nine. And now you see the concern. Two great warriors. Look at that. When it's time to fight, these guys fight hard. 
But of course, when the fight is over, we have something in common. We have respect for each other. We have admiration for each other. And of course, Rick Rufus went over. Congratulations uh, con to congratulate uh, Longinitis' efforts. That's a great fight. Very, very good fight. Well, if you think this fight was something, the one we're about to see there is Dick Kimber from Lynn, Massachusetts. He's taped and he is ready. Now, you heard what he said earlier about uh, Don Wilson. He didn't come here to fight a legend. He came here to fight a man. He's going to go out here with a world championship. Those are the words of Dick Kimber at stake. The IKF Cruiserweight Full Contact World Title. Man, what a night of mass destruction we have seen thus far here in Lowell, Massachusetts. Now, wherever you are watching us around America, throughout the world, I'm certain you agree this has been a thunderous night of kickboxing action. Now, there's a proud warrior here. Stan, Stan Lanzanitis was not about to give up, even with that broken ankle. He was ready to go on. The doctors intercepted and decided that no young man, we're going to have to stop this right now. Uh, you can bet Longinitas uh, in the next half hour will be transported to a uh, area hospital and have that leg x-rayed and then uh, put into a cast. No question about it. Let's go now to Mark Helm. Still the international rules world heavyweight champion in the blue corner, Rick the Jet Rufus, Rick, tremendous. You just sent a message out to the world that you can take the leg kick. A lot of people didn't think you could do it. You had a tremendous performance. How do you feel, Ricky? Well, praise the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. I give all the part of uh, I came out. The name of the game is, I took a few in the beginning, but the uh, name of the game was uh, to, to counter stand. Every kick he was throwing his right leg. He was trying to go to the inside of my right. He watched my tapes. That was my mistake. He watched a few tapes. And you know what? I brought in the best trainer in the world. Manu, this man here, I have to thank him. I have to thank this man, Obaki. I'm sure the people in Atlanta and the back of the gym are really happy to see this performance. Uh, you really stunned him in the fifth round. You caught him with a round kick on the side of the head. The fight turned at that moment. Yeah. Stan is very cagey. He's a smart guy. He's been in the ring with some of the best in the world. And, uh, hey, he stuck in there. He, there was no quitting this guy tonight. I just talked to your manager, Joe, and uh, he announced to me that you're going to be going in the K-1 again. I predict that you'll be the first American to win the K-1 championship. And I think you proved tonight you sent a message to Ishii, to everybody in the world, that Rick Rufus can take the leg kicks. And I'm really, really astonished at your performance. And uh, uh, what's, what do you have in mind for Japan now? Well, Victor, I, I thank you and I'm flattered. That's a very big uh, accomplishment. But I take one fight at a time. I don't look ahead. In order for me to get to K-1, I had to beat this man to open another door. And, uh, you know, I have to thank everyone in Atlanta. I have to thank... Bill Goldberg, Obaki Jim, and the whole entire Obaki staff for all their help. Couldn't have done without them. Team Rufus in Milwaukee. I have to thank uh, uh, Muay Thai Products and Mike Nolte. I have to thank all my fans in Milwaukee. Most of all, my mother, who's at home right now, my daughter. Hey, guys, I love you. I'll see you real soon. Well, the jet has landed in mass destruction. And back to you, Johnny, even Phil. All right, Victor, the jet certainly has landed. And a big hug right now for Stan Longinitas, who was up on that broken right ankle. I don't understand how Longinitas can even be walking around on that ankle, but he is. A word uh, from Danny Stell, the referee. He leaned over and said, Phil, Longinitas suffered a broken right ankle. Of course, uh, Danny is not <laughs> a physician, but the physician did lean into the ring and thought that perhaps Longinitas did suffer a broken right ankle at the very